Traffic once again flowing smoothly tonight, Erica, but tow and repair truck drivers consider today's accident proof of just how dangerous a job they have. While commuters see a traffic nightmare, tow truck and repair drivers see a tragic reminder. I cringe every time that I have to go out on the highway to pick up somebody's car. 30-year-old repairman Mark Cook lost his life Wednesday on I-70 near Rural Street when a driver hit the rear of his work van, pinning Cook between the van and a Ford Expedition pickup. We put our lives on the line every day to help somebody else. Driver D'Angelo Dixon has been arrested for driving on a suspended license. State police believe alcohol played a part. People don't pay attention to anybody on the side of the road. Uh, our lights mean absolutely nothing to people. Joseph McDaniel knows this danger firsthand. I've been hit twice personally myself. I got a couple broken bones out of the deal, but I survived. Driver Richard McCarthy often saw Cook on jobs. He even saw today's pileup. He was a good guy. He worked hard. He took pride in what he did. He did not deserve it. They are begging drivers, give them space. Move over. Give us room because we're working inches from death. They don't realize we have families at home that we want to go home to at the end of the night. And unfortunately, there's times like today, one driver does not get that opportunity. And a reminder once more, when you see those flashing lights on repair or tow trucks, move over, slow down, and do not use your phone while you are driving. For right now, Melissa Mahadeo, RTV6 News.